My name is Jeff Davis. I've been working for Brownfield Power and Light for 12 years, now electrical superintendent. The city of Brownfield is a small farming and agricultural community, population of about 10,000 people. Our service area includes uh, about 4,200 meters here in the city of Brownfield. The weather changes every day here. Like I'm saying it could be pretty one day and it could be snowing the next, who knows? Dust storm, wind storms. The wind always gives us a hard time because, you know, wind blow here sometimes 70, 80 miles an hour and you never know what's going to happen. We're a full requirements customer with XL Energy. We buy all of our power in a group called the West Texas Municipal Power Agency. Uh, from our substation, we have two 20 MVA transformers, uh, which branch out into a loop around our system. And then uh, in our substation, we have uh, two main breakers with the 351 and Schweitzer controls and also uh, two feeder breakers with also the 351S controls. Well, we've been looking for a while at, you know, some SCADA systems for the city here, and uh, we're just looking something for data acquisition control for our substations. The SGS was recommended to me, and we give them a phone call, and it all started from there. Uh, Brownfield contacted us in the fall of 2011 to come up with a solution for their SCADA system for a single substation, distribution reclosers included, a solution that would fit in their budget and their needs. And Jeff, he wanted to, to have the ability to view real-time data to control the substation circuit breakers and have it come under budget, under a budget of $50,000, <laughs> which to me was unreal at the time when he asked this. I got this amount of money, we have to put a SCADA system in for this amount of money. That's basically where it started at. When Jeff requested a SCADA system, the first thing that pops into my mind is the software that we need to purchase, learn how to use. Wow, this is going to be a lot of money. This is going to be expensive. Those products usually start at around $10,000, and I'm thinking there's no way. I said, Jeff, that's a, that's a, that's a hard number to, to keep it under. I'm not sure if that's doable. I said, let me look at some different products. Let me see what's available. And when I told him that, I had in mind the HMI for the 3530. And I'm thinking, okay, I'm hoping Schweitzer's HMI is everything it has been advertised to be. I went to a Schweitzer integration engineer, Mike Dude, and I described to Mike what I was wanting to do, and I needed a copy of the HMI software upgraded for my machine here in the office. And based on the support, the support is head and shoulders above anybody in the industry. When you call the factory and you need a support on a product, you will, you will talk to someone. The factory bends over backwards to find someone, whether it's an application engineer or an integration engineer, or a software engineer for that matter. They support their product exceptionally, exceptionally well. I knew what the city of Brownfield was using as far as relays. They were using 351S Schweitzer relays. I knew I would be using the 3530, which I have both of those in my office. It is as simple as hooking my 351S to the 3530, programming a few points to report back, dumping them into the HMI software portion of the 3530, and Lo and behold, it was incredibly easy, incredibly easy. After I became comfortable with the Schweitzer 3530 HMI, the next step was to let's price out what all we need. I know we need the 3530 for City Brownfield. That, that's a given. The 3530 has the capability to communicate with other manufacturers' devices through whether it's DNP, Modbus, protocols, standard industry, standard protocols. So I know I need a 3530. I also know to get the communication established between the third party manufacturer devices, I need a radio system. Let's go ahead and order the radios from Schweitzer with 
the radios, the, the 3530, we're set. In less than four days, we have a SCADA system up and running for the city of Brownfield. We used to, we used to go around to every breaker on the weekends. Twice a day, we'd go to every breaker and get the load off of it and write it on a sheet of paper. And we'd walk around to every breaker around here and they had to do that. Now everybody goes in there to the office and goes to the skate and they just look at the load right there, write it down. Jeff has the ability to operate the circuit reclosers, circuit breakers remotely. He has the ability to monitor if a circuit is heavily loaded and needs to shift load around. He can gather events from his desktop. If, if the 351S relay generates an event, it's automatically pushed up to the 3530, stored in a memory region on that 3530 where he can access that via the web interface off of the 3530. If we have a blink, I'll come down here and look, see what happened and how many times it blinked and what the load was, and we can kind of eliminate some of the problems that way. The city of Brownfield ended up with a complete SCADA system for control, real-time data, under $50,000. That was the main goal. And thanks to Schweitzer, we were able to achieve that goal.